In this tutorial, you will learn about the basics of how to create paths and how to have a character animate walking around the path. So here's my character and I'm going to zoom out so you can better see the obstacle course I've created for my character. And pan a little to the right. Now I have two columns here and I wish to have my character walk a figure eight path around those two columns. So to do so, let's go to animation, make sure we have path selected, then on the modify panel, press the button create path. Then we can just simply draw a path by adding in these control points. We can just have it come back around and then have it come back here and have it end here. To finish it, just press the escape button and your path is complete. Now if you wish to edit the path, you can change the color by going to this color swatch and making it a little darker so we can see it more clearly. Then to edit the points themselves, click on edit path button. Then you can grab the points such as this one and move them into better positions. To fine tune your path. Also, say for instance you wish to add in a point or delete a point, you can just click on the line and say add control point and you have created a point. And you can move this one around just like the others. But I don't want that one there, so I'm just going to delete it out. Also, with Edit Path, you can change the height of each point. Let me just show you how I can move that point around, up or down. But since I have a character and I just wish to have them walk a figure eight, I'm not going to have my path elevated into the sky. Just keep it down here on the ground. You can also change the orientation of your path by choosing the Rotation tool, and you can rotate the point, the control points, to have a different angle. That way as the character moves along the path, it will begin to bank to where the top of the object, or this character in this instance, will turn to face the orientation of the point. But since in this case I really don't want that to happen, so I'm just going to orient it back to where it's straight up and down, and click edit path to finish editing my path. Now I'm going to pan back to my character. So after selecting my character, I just right click on my character to get to the menu, click walk forward, and then click on the end of the path, and my character will now walk around the entire path. This is just the basic uses of path. In more advanced tutorials about path animation, you will learn how to create linear paths, transitions, project paths to terrains, using paths to walk upstairs, and even how to create a path for a roller coaster. And when she reaches the end of the path, she will stop. But if you really like your path animation sequence that you created, and you wish to save it to your library, just double click on your path, and notice you have all your templates here, but if you press this add button on the content manager, you'll be able to add to your custom for your content manager for motion paths, and you can name it anything you wish. Now I'll just call it custom path 01. And then my path has now been added in to my library that I can just drag and drop and create another instance of that path. And that is the basics of path animation to help you create incredible animation sequences for your projects.